Hi guys, I'm back and I'm excited to share with you a couple props from some people that I have been buying props from for six years, my entire time in business really. I'm gonna show you one that I love and I'm gonna show you one that I love how it's made but my customers can't seem to figure it out for some reason. I don't know. Let's start with this one. Um, this is a braille box. And so along the outside, you have a braille numerical alphabet. I'm not sure what the actual term for that is, but it tells you what a zero is in braille and what a one is in braille and what a two is and so on and so forth. It tells you what you need to do right here. And then there is a hole in the box and it has a one and a two and a three and a four. And so customers should be able to realize that um, their first number is gonna come from here, their second number from here, third and fourth. And so what they need to do is to take their hand and put it inside and there's raised dots inside that match these numbers. Now I thought this was really, really simple and easy but it was causing so much frustration for, um, for my customers that I ended up taking it out of our room and replacing it with something else. Now, that being said, the box itself is fantastic. It's well made and I think it's a really cool idea. I just don't think people, um, I don't think people are good at uh, the, the touch puzzles. I've had another touch puzzle that was similar and people struggled with that one too. So what I've done with this is put it in my waiting room and it's something that people can fiddle around with and, and play with and we can use it as a talking point to get our customers' minds thinking in the right direction, um, especially those that are new to escape rooms. Here's one way that you're gonna be, you know, using your brain to think in a way that you don't normally think. And then I show them this box and I explain how it works. And um, I found that to be a really useful tool for people uh, that haven't done escape rooms before and, and need a little, a little nudge as to what to expect before they actually go into the escape room. So well-made prop, just my customers, I don't know, maybe we're not as smart up here in Michigan. Who knows, we're sort of smart. Um, <laughs> here's one that I love and customers seem to love. At first glance, it is a piece of wood with some carvings in it. However, if you hold it at a different angle, which I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up on camera, but you might be able to see it there. It says Manhattan. So this is something fun, it's durable. I've actually used this in two rooms now. It's still still going strong. I think I bought this thing from them five years ago and it has this is the original one that I bought. So it's never been broken or snapped or anything like that. Of course, now that I said that on camera, I bet you this weekend one of my customers is gonna break this thing in half. But the point is, it's lasted for a very long time. I will look up the actual price and, and post the link in the comments here, but I think I only paid like 30 or 40 bucks for this. Um, and customers love it. It's a good aha moment, which I love those. And um, yeah, it's been a good versatile piece and they customize, they customize the message. So whatever you want the message to say, they will customize it. Same thing with this Braille box. Um, they customized the code that I wanted inside of the box. So I think that that's really important so that you can keep, um, keep things themed with your room. These guys make a lot of really great, sturdy, well-made props. Um, I have a couple other ones, but they're actually in use in my rooms right now, so I wasn't able to, um, wasn't able to get them out to film them, but I will in the future. So I will post the link there at creativeescaperooms.com. Good, good products, and no, they didn't pay me to say any of this. I just, um, I'm a big fan, and I love that they are affordable. Their customer service is fast and responsive. They, they were really nice. I, I've emailed and messaged back and forth with them a couple times on questions on things before I bought them. So um, all in all, I think they're a great company and I want to support them and I think you should too. Anyway, I'll go find something else to review in a second.